so we've been talking about volatility and the word obsolete. I got a little story to share with you. Yeah. From a major financial company. I got a stock tip from a friend said, you should check this out. It's a pharmaceutical company. And, um, and we're all putting in, I'm putting in, my brother's putting in, you should put in. So thir, I put $3,000 in, lost my butt because there was a big scandal mm -hmm. with a politician. Not gonna mention I, I'm not going to mention any names, but his n name would rhyme with Robert Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> I did say the name. I didn't say a name. Well, did I say a name? Didn't happen to be the ex-Virginia uh, governor or anything. Right? And yeah, okay. uh, all I'm saying is that it was supposed to be like this enzyme from a mango fruit that helped with arthritis. And oh, absolutely. There were major athletes who were endorsing this thing going, this is a man. And I went, I'm in, man. I have, yes, sign me up. You're retiring Where? early, right? And now I can't close the freaking thing. Right. Now, I've, I actually said. So how much research did you do? I mean, our, I talked to two of my friends. Oh, and your friends, they're experts in... They put, uh, they put mo their own money in. <laughs> right. So <laughs> so this is what we call the water cooler buddy. Yeah. Stock oh, pick yeah. program. Yeah. No, and it was supposed to be really good, but then the scandal happened and somebody received some gifts from something that... And I don't know all that. And I was like, I mean, to me, that's a lot of money. $3,000 is a lot of money. Now it's... And now I, that happened like three or four years ago, and I haven't been able to close the account. My uh, my my buddy. What's the a, share price now? Uh, point zero, zero. nine cents or something. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is, but uh, but it was funny because he was like, they keep trying to ding your account, and I won't let him. I, but you know, and I was like, well, close it so I can write it off on my taxes. I'll take that three thousand dollar hit. I still have that account open. Like I, four years. I later. think the stock you're talking about is the Rock Creek Pharmaceuticals. I right? thought I wasn't allowed to say it. I'm allowed. We're allowed to say it. Well, you're not recommending it. It's it's gone. No, it's dead. I know. <laughs> it's gone. Maybe that <laughs> is why we. It doesn't exist. Yeah, I bought all in, man. I was like, yeah, that's that sounds amazing. And Please, guys, do not call and ask Brett for advice about <laughs> ever. But listen, I was all in because the guy who just won the PGA tournament just last weekend. He was one of the endorsers. He was like, I can golf again. I don't have arthritis. It's amazing. But most of those folks are not putting all their money in, right? I mean, it's just all in one stock. No, they're getting paid to endorse it. Yeah. Right, right. And so um, it, it's, yeah, they're getting paid to endorse it. And, or if they did, they're give, they're getting paid from the stock. Right. Right. Yeah. Hoping that it's going to go. Getting shares or something. Yeah, yeah. it's going to go through the roof. Um, but, you know, the re look at, I'm reading some of the reports back on this back in 2016. Um, <laughs> they filed for bankruptcy. I mean, what a mess. Has it been that long? It's been, yeah, it's probably mm -hmm. been five years. Yeah, that's yeah. probably right. So, I mean, it's just absolutely. So, you know, we've we've seen folks. We had uh, someone call in. Was, I think it was a couple of years ago. And they had, it was an IPO I'd never heard of. Uh, initial public offering. Yeah. I never had really. <laughs> I know what initial public I know, offering you're, is. You're an IPO expert. I'm a high roller. I just put 3000 in this thing. Exactly. Yeah. So. So uh, they had it was probably a good third of their portfolio inside one stock, and it was an IPO. And I and I I know you're passionate about this, but wow. Yeah, that's a risk. Ooh. That's gambling. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of. I mean, I hope it turns into Amazon, right? I mean, I really, I really do. Yeah. Uh, I really hope it turns into Netflix or whatever. And, yep. and and you've you know, but you're you're gambling. Yeah. Right. Just go to Vegas. You'll have a lot more fun. I mean, just you know. It, because when you lose that money, it's going to feel really sick in your stomach. It's weird, though. When I read I, and I read the Robert Kiyosaki books, have you ever read Rich yep. Dad, Poor Dad? Oh, years he, ago, yeah. He talks about IPOs, and he's like, the SEC protects you from yourself, so you know you and your spouse have to earn at least $300,000 a year, and then you can be, purchase IPOs and buy into IPOs. And, and so he was all about them, but I'm like, how many of them actually don't fail? There's so it's a ton, um, you know, there's a there's a ton of failures. I mean, that's just kind of like anything. People go, oh, but look at Amazon. It's like, yeah, but do you know how many Amazon like companies that just completely yeah. burned yeah. You know, to nothing? There's a, you know, they get delisted is what kind of happened with Rock Creek. right? Yep. You know, the price gets to, down under a dollar on the exchange yep. or whatever it may be. And then they just. They just yank it, right? It doesn't, you know. I had it on the app on my phone watching it. You were watching I it? mean, I was seriously in. I was like, I'm going to make $8 billion from this $3,000 <laughs> investment. Yeah, you're going to. So, um, yeah, I think. So we were going to talk about the obsolete, uh, what was it, Jim? How do you say that guy's name? Jim Croce? Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting. Play the well, thing? I, I want to talk about how things are going to be obsolete, just like your stock. Okay. Right? Rock Creek, <laughs> that one. It went straight up and went Do I really want to talk about this anymore? Yeah. <laughs>
left a mark.